There are things you need to look out for when you want to start a network marketing business. Three basic things. Hello, Sam Ozani here. I'm so excited to be with you here once again. In this video, I will be breaking down the things to look out for when you want to join a network marketing company. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, consider subscribing because in this channel, you will get a lot of value on network marketing, on leadership, finances, and everything else on how to make money, all right? So welcome, and I'm so glad to have you here. Now, there are things you need to look out for when you want to start a network marketing business. Three basic things, and I'm going to be so fast about it so that you can understand it, all right? The first, is you need to check out the company itself. The second, you need to understand the compensation plan involved. And thirdly, you need to understand the product. The product, is it okay? Is that the kind of product that um, you would love to be part of? The, is this something you want to put your name under? Is this something you want to look at and be part of? Is it a product that you are proud of? Is this something that resonates with what you believe in as a person? Okay, so I'm going to handle all of them at once. Starting with the first, and the first is the company. Now, in network marketing, network marketing involves companies and products and all of that rolling into one. For you to start a network marketing, you need to look at the company involved, look at the management of the company, what have they done in the past? What's their competence, you know, or competencies? Have they been able to do similar things in the past? You know, you, you can monitor someone's progress, where they've been, the things they've done in the past. Uh, do they have the work size skills to move the company to where it needs to be? Are they dynamic enough? Because if the company has bad management, it means that you won't be there for you to run your business and become successful for the long haul. Because ideally, you're supposed to find a company that can, you know, take care of you for many years to come, several decades. For instance, Coca-Cola has been around. And Coca-Cola has been for as long as we can remember, probably hundreds of years, you know. There are companies like that that has stayed for decades. So your company, I believe, should be able to stay for decades to come, you know, several decades to come. And if the management is bad, it means that you won't be there. The company won't be there to take care of you. So you're going to work so hard, create a business, build a team, only for you to start again. That can be very disturbing. You know, that can be very exhausting for you to do all of that and have to do it all over and all over again. So you can save yourself the stress of starting all over again by investigating the company, do your research, ask questions, you understand, go to the internet. And uh, you can also... Uh, refer back to somebody who is already in the network marketing profession, someone who has a lot of results, and let the person guide you in your process, you know, so you can select the company that is best for you. Based on the strength of the management, based on every other thing, how the company was constituted, you know, upon what grounds, the personalities involved, how many years of experience, was their pedigree. These are things you have to check out for you to say, okay, company XYZ, I'm going to pitch my tent with them, all right? So you need to investigate the company, check out everything about them to be sure that these guys can last. They can withstand the test of time. They can stay for the long haul, okay? Number two. Number two is so important because this deals with the product, the product that the company is marketing. Is it the kind of product that is priced to sell? Is it competitive enough that at the end, you can sell it and still make some profits? Is it priced to sell? Is it too expensive or is it competitive so that you can still make profit when you sell the product, if you decide to sell the product, okay? Even though some people don't lead by product, some people lead by the opportunity, but people have different ways of approaching network marketing. Some people see a network marketing company and the their first interaction with the company will be through the product. So it's possible that the product is the first eye to the company. So the products, are they available? Are the products good? Is it a reusable product, something that you can use several times? Is it something that you can use in a week, in a month, and it's finished and you need to replace it? Or is it a product that you can use for like five years and you don't need to replace it? Now, if you market a product that's, that can stay that long, it means that you'll be able to make much sale because you can sell like once in five years. But if it's a product that can be reused every few days or every one week or every one month, that's 
like a money spinner. So you have to check the product. You need to be sure there's uh, integrity behind the product, that what they say the product can do, the product can actually do what it's been touted to say or to do, you know. So the product, you have to check it to be sure that it's priced to sell. You can sell it. You can add, you know, you can have some profit at the end. At the back of it, after selling it, the company will make money. You also will also make money, you know. So, and thirdly, a compensation plan. The compensation plan is actually, for me, once I check out the company, the second thing, the, the third thing will be the compensation plan. But I know that you can't separate the company from the product. That's why I made it number two. But the compensation plan is number three. There are different kinds of compensation plans. I don't want to spend time on that, the binary, the metrics, the uni level test step, and all of that. Don't bother yourself by trying to understand how does this work. And all. Because someone who's going to join your business would, would likely not even you know, try to understand it. I don't need to be uh, an auto engineering. I, I do not need to understand how a car works for me to drive my car. I do not need to go to school and study um, auto engineering, you know, how cars are made and all of that for me to drive my car. No, I just need to go and learn how to drive and then drive my car, that's all. In, that, in the same vein, you don't need to understand everything about the product because that would be a waste of your time. Understand the product, understand the compensation plan, okay, but just go with the flow. So if you're looking at the compensation plan, you need to investigate those that have been in that company before you. Ask them questions. At least have a basic knowledge of what is happening. If it's binary, one on the left, one on the right. If it's uni level, it's whatever it is. Don't go too deep, but be sure that the, the compensation plan is constituted in such a way that we don't need to do so much for you to make your first sale or make your first income. Because if it takes you uh, a long time or a lot of hard work for you to you know, make money when people join your team, then that's a big disadvantage. Um, you might have the zeal, you might have the strength to do it, but some people in your team might not have that level of strength or zeal to be able to you know, work with a particular compensation plan. Now, if your company has like a mixture of different compensation plans, I think that would be better because when you bring in people into your business, uh, you stand to earn from different levels of things or activities. Okay, so if you're going to a company and the company has just one compensation plan or one way of compensating you when you've uh, done your business, people have joined your business, you know, if it has just one way, let's say uni level or just test step, um, I wouldn't advise you to go to a company that has just one. Okay, I say this loosely because um, some people are very comfortable, they're very okay with a, a mono compensation plan company, you know, if I were to use that word or phrase. But for me, the company I'm with has several, you know, there are, it's a mixture of several, you know, in fact, it's, it's more like an interloop of different compensation plans. But that is for you, that if that's what you want, fine, go do your investigation and then be sure you're with a company that actually resonates with what you want, that has a product that you're proud of, something that you've tested and is very nice, okay? And then a compensation plan that rewards hard work, a compensation plan that can reward you when you do put in the work, okay? So these are the three things you need to watch out for before you start or join a network marketing company. Now, if this is your first time of joining a network marketing company, I really, really would love you to take your time and go through these things I've mentioned. Do your research, go to Google, you know, ask people who, are, who have a level of um, skill and people who have a, a level of result in network marketing for you to now decide on what you want to do, okay? But if you've been in network marketing before, I'm sure you would have understood a few things and what to look out for and the things to avoid. But whatever your case is or where you are at the moment, it will be important for you to do a bit of research, okay? So you check out the company and be sure that the management is strong. Be sure that the people involved in the management circle, you know, the leadership is strong. They are dynamic. They are able to move the company, steer the company out of murky waters, take decisions that will be for the long haul, that will help the company in the long term. Some people can just want to do anything at the medium term or short term because it's going to bring in more money or bring in more people, but it jeopardizes the strength of the company because there's a way you pay out. For instance, there are companies that bring in a lot of commissions and they pay so handsomely at the beginning, but some of those companies don't even stay to the next two, three, four years. So the thing just goes down. Who do you blame? 
when things like that happen, we've seen that all the time, where a company comes in, you know, trying to say, I'm doing so well, I'm paying so well, I'm the best paying, and trying to be the best paying company, they just squander the capital. They're not able to even meet the overhead costs and all of that. They're not able to break even, and the company just crashes, and crashes with the hopes and aspirations of many people who have pitched their tent for the company. So in order to avoid this kind of thing from happening to you, you need to study. You need to do your research. You need to ask questions, okay? Then look at the product again. Be sure that product is what you love and the compensation plan so that you're not walking like an elephant and you are being uh, uh, compensated like an ant. Do you understand? <laughs> That's like a story, you know? Being able to put in the work and you have a fair compensation. The bonuses that are paid to you will be fair compared to the work you've put in. That's exactly what I'm saying. So those are the three things you must watch out for. You have to study them, you have to go through them before you decide on which company you're going to be part of. I promise you, if you go through these three steps, looking at the company, the products involved, and then the compensation plan, you would not be far from picking the right company, okay? And if you are not sure which of the companies, you can drop a comment below, let me guide you through the processes. You don't have to do what I'm doing, okay? Just go through the guidelines and then decide on what you want and become part of the company that really thrills you and uh, gives you that hope that tomorrow there's freedom. All right? Thank you so much for staying to this point. This is Sam Mozani, the Bootstrap Entrepreneur. I'm so glad to have you in my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so glad to have you here on board. See you at the next episode. Bye-bye for now.